Chemistry is the study of matter. But I prefer to see it as the study of change. You understood what I've just said to you? Yes. Lung cancer. Inoperable. The DEA took all your money, your lab. You got nothing. Square one. But you know the business. And I know the chemistry. I'm thinking maybe you and I could partner up. You, uh, you want to cook crystal meth? You. Doctor, my wife is seven months pregnant with a baby we didn't intend. My 15-year-old son has cerebral palsy. I am an extremely overqualified high school chemistry teacher. When I can work, I make $43,700 per year. I have watched all of my colleagues and friends surpass me in every way imaginable, and within 18 months, I will be dead. And you ask why I ran? That we all, in this room, we love each other. We want what's best for each other, and I know that. I am very thankful for that. But uh, what I want, what I want, what I need, is a choice. I feel like I never actually make any of my own choices. I mean, my entire life, it just seems I never, you know, had a, had a real say about any of it. With this last one, cancer, all I have left is how I choose to approach this. These doctors are talking about surviving. One year, two years, like it's the only thing that matters. But what good is it to just survive if I am too sick to work? To enjoy a meal? To make love? For what time I have left, I want to live in my own house. I want to sleep in my own bed. I don't want to choke down 30 or 40 pills every single day and lose my hair and lie around too tired to get up and so nauseated that I can't even move my head. And me, what a, some dead man, some artificially alive, just marking time. No. And that's how you would remember me. That's the worst part. There are going to be some things, things that you'll come to learn about me in the next few days. I just want you to know that no, no matter how it may look, I only have you in my heart. This Chemistry is my realm. I am in charge of the cooking. This operation is you and me, and I'm the silent partner. No matter what happens, no more bloodshed. 737. 737 thousand dollars. That's what I need. That is what I need. Six hundred and seven two thousand. Each. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! No, what you two need is an honest-to-God businessman, right? Somebody who treats your product like the simple, high-margin commodity that it is. I have lived under the threat of death for a year now. And because of that, I've made choices. I alone should suffer the consequences of those choices. No one else. And those consequences, they're coming. We had a good 
thing, you stupid son of a bitch. We had Fring. We had a lab. We had everything we needed. It all ran like clockwork. You could have yeah. shut your mouth, cooked, and made as much money as you ever needed. It was perfect. But no, you just had to blow it up. You and your pride and your ego. You just had to be the man. If you'd done your job, known your place, we'd all be fine right now. What is going on with me is not about some disease. It's about choices. Choices that I have made. Choices I stand by. I am the one who knocks. Who's we? There is no we, Jesse. I'm the only vote left. Gus is dead. We've got work to do. I won. I've been living with cancer for the better part of a year. Right from the start, it's a death sentence. That's what they keep telling me. Every life comes with a death sentence. But until then, who's in charge? Me. Mr. White. The methylamine keeps flowing no matter what. We are not ramping down. We're just getting started. Nothing stops this train. Nothing. If you believe that there's a hell, I don't know if you're into that. But we're, we're already pretty much going there, right? But I'm not gonna lie down until I get there. How many more people are gonna die because of us? No one. None. Now that we're in control, no one else gets hurt. You keep saying that, and it's bullshit every time. My wife is waiting for me to die. This business is all I have left now. We're done. And I say we're done. <laughs> who the hell are you? I'm the cook. I'm the man who killed Gus Fring. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. I'm out. To WW, my star, my perfect silence. I did not kill Mike. I need you to believe me. My cancer is back. If you don't know who I am, then maybe your best course would be to tread lightly. Do what you're gonna do. It means we're fine, okay? We are. We're fine. Everything is going to be fine, but we need to leave right now, all right? Can we do that? You killed Hank. What? No, no, no. You killed No, him. no, no! I tried to save him! Get out! Maybe now you'll listen. Maybe now you'll use your damn head. You know, you never believed in me. You were never grateful for anything I did for this family. Don't you think I want to run? This is the last thing I want. This, this changes nothing. What I do, I do for my family. My money goes to my children, not just this barrel. All of it. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? We're a family! They murdered Hank. They stole my life's work. I'm going to kill Jack and his entire crew. And I'm gonna take back what is mine and give it to my children. I can't all what, be for my thing. Did? Just Please. shut up. Shut up. Please. Why are you still alive? Why don't you just just die already? Just just die. I watched her overdose and choke to death. You are the target of a nationwide manhunt. Your face is all over TV. 
You are the hottest client I have ever had by far. All I'm saying is, if you leave this place, you will get caught. It's over. Is Walter White still out there? No, he's not. He was get me home. Out to the rest. Have a footstep behind you, but before you can even turn around. <laughs> Cheer up, beautiful people. This is where you get to make it right. You did this for the family. I did it for me. I liked it. I was good at it. And I was really. I was alive. I have it coming. I deserve this. <laughs>